what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so uh it is 11 28 p.m as of me recording this video i'm just getting home i've literally have been at the in the clutch studios and running errands all day today so i didn't know anything about this until i checked twitter and then i checked my sub box and i saw that shane mcmahon has apparently been fired I got to see what's going on with that. I know he was receiving a lot of backstage heat for what transpired at the Royal Rumble. So definitely got to check that out, man. Uh, it's just, it's been one of those type of days, man. But best believe we got some cool, interesting things coming to the main page. So it's, it's been work related. That's why I haven't been able to really drop any videos uh, as of today. But uh, when you guys are seeing this, hopefully... Uh, I'll probably have another video after this dropping as well. I'm just trying to piece things together, get my schedule together, but uh, definitely got to check this out. Appreciate all the love What is going on, guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including WWE fire Shane McMahon, original plans for Shane O'Mac, Rey Mysterio gives his mask to buy a bunny, is Alexa Bliss getting divorced? Another WWE superstar headed to AEW and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Mm -hmm. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at WWE firing Shane McMahon. A topic in the news today is a rumor that Shane McMahon is now gone from the WWE. Keep in mind that this story is developing and so far Ringside News is reporting on it, but nevertheless it's a major story if it is confirmed as it will show just how much heat Shane McMahon had after booking and appearing in the Men's Royal Rumble match. So here's what we know so far, but well, Ringside News is reporting that Shane McMahon who was reportedly scheduled to compete at the Elimination Chamber and WrestleMania is no longer scheduled for either event. Ringside News reported, a tenured member of the creative team informed us that the writers were told in a semi-quiet way that there will be no more creative discussions about Shane McMahon. They have now moved on to other creative discussions. And we use the word creative, use that loosely around here. The rumor noted that Shane has not been an official WWE employee for some time and that the rumors are circulating that Vince had no choice. Shane created chaos, had everyone in an uproar, pissed off everyone in the rumble openly buried other producers and was changing things that Vince wanted. Vince had no other choice but to send him home. Indeed, ringside user Steve Carrier tweeted, There's a lot going on with Shane McMahon. He's now our for all, Elimination Chamber and WrestleMania. A tenured source within the company told us that Vince McMahon is also quietly using the term let go to describe the situation. Shane McMahon has been let go. Are you guys disappointed about this? Let us know in the comments. I don't think people are really disappointed. Apparently... He was pushing his power around, changing up stuff, and it's it's just one of those things where it's like, damn man, like how, you just come back after a hiatus and and just switch up the Royal Rumble like that, like, come on now, like, I get it, you're a McMahon, but one thing I know, if you change McMahon's plans, Vince McMahon's plans. It's probably going to be some type of issues unless he approved it. I'm not sure. We're pro I'm sure we'll probably get some more details in the upcoming days, but that's wild. That is insane, and he's out of here. And I'm, I may be one of the people that's like, I'm, I'm not tripping that he's out of there. He shouldn't have been in the Royal Rumble to begin with, in my honest opinion. If you were going to have him as a surprise guest, Sure, and it would have been cool if Kevin Owens eliminated him because they have history with each other. But instead, he was one of the last few in the match. No, bro. So, hey, he's gone. Cool. Let's see if they can come up with something creative uh, to fill his spot. Because we, we don't need to see him at the Elimination Chamber. We definitely didn't need to see him at WrestleMania. That's just my opinion, so down below. Next up, the shock original plans for Shane McMahon. Now at this point, the reasons for Shane's apparent exit remain sketchy, however the murmuring surrounding the WWE's plans for Shane may be evidence. Wrestlers were said to be furious with the WWE's purported plan for Shane, with speculation that Shane would compete in the Elimination Chamber match and possibly face Seth Rollins or even Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania. PW Insider What? 
No way. I that I I don't want to believe someone creatively thought that would have been a good I I don't want to I don't want to believe that. Recently reported Shane McMahon will be appearing regularly on the Raw brand going I heard forward. about that. As reported in our Raw recap, Shane did not appear and his absence may have been due to the WWE's decision to change its plans for him, with Shane going from a featured player to a where are they now feature. A number of reports came in after the Rumble indicating Shane was going to compete in the WWE over the next few months. Steve Carrier of Inside News tweeted, We were told that McMahon is booked for WrestleMania. We were not told what his role is at this time, but he's scheduled for the show. Wrestling Observer's Figure 4 Online reported on 30th January that Shane was booked for the Elimination Chamber and WrestleMania and that he has a match on the books, but it was said to have not been finalized a few days ago, which is evidently why they did no angle with him at the Rumble. A one rumor was that Shane's involvement at the Saudi Arabia Super Show would set the stage for a WrestleMania match with Seth Rollins. It's inconceivable that the WWE would want to book this considering how well received Rollins' match with Roman Reigns was. However, with the WWE still focused on Roman vs Brock, a Rollins rematch with Reigns seems to be on the back burner. This isn't the first time the WWE has come under fire for its booking of Shane. You might recall the summer of 2019 when Shane received what fans and some wrestlers saw as a ridiculously strong push, mm -hmm. with rumors that McMahon was going to wrestle the then WWE Champion Kofi Kingston, possibly even defeating him and winning the WWE Championship. Next up, the Women's Rumble. We can never forget he was in the best in the world tournament and won it. I'm going to leave that there. A mess? If you thought the Women's Royal Rumble was a mess, well, you're not alone. Well, Wrestling Inc's Mark Middleton is reporting that wrestlers who participated in the Women's Rumble match said it was a mess and the morale was already low. This comes after a rehearsal for the match was held on Friday night. One talent noted that WWE should have had more main roster or contracted talent than veterans on hand for the match. Mm. Another talent described the bout as complete chaos. What's interesting is that the women's rumble match was better than the men's it match. It was. But if the report is in true, my it's a sign that the entire event was a mess backstage. We noted in our previous news videos that there was plenty of grumblings backstage about the men's match. Producer Tyson Kidd's absence may have something to do with the chaos during the match. Wrestling Inc. reports that the veteran wrestler and former WWE producer Fit Finley was called in to help produce the match. Fightful Select added that Tyson Kidd did not produce the match, as would be the case. The site notes that while Kid is still working for the WWE, there's no news on why he was unavailable. Whatever the reason, Middleton noted that Finley's absence reportedly led to one wrestler passing on a chance to compete in the Rumble. Damn. Next up, where was Asuka and Kairi Sane? Now, speaking of the Women's Royal Rumble, where were the former Kabuki Warriors? Or well, rumor had it that one or both members of the Kabuki Warriors might show up a surprise entrance in the Rumble, particularly yeah, Asuka being a surprise entrance would have been pretty cool, not gonna lie to you. ...since Asuka was cleared to compete. However, Fightful Select is reporting that WWE didn't think Asuka was ready to compete and that bringing in Sane, who was currently in Japan, would have been too inconvenient as it was easy to bring in other talent than Kairi Sane. The Fightful Select story on Asuka raises questions of just when the Empress of Tomorrow will be back in action. You may recall the news in 2021 that Asuka took time off for dental surgery and also suffered some sort of arm injury. Yeah, that, that whole spot where her teeth was knocked out, man. Whoo, that was... <laughs> That was tough, bro. Tough to watch. While Asuka fans would likely be happy to see her back, the booking of the women's division is such a mess that perhaps she should wait until the WWE can figure out a strong storyline for her. Next up, Rey Mysterio gives bad... This is one of the things where some people say, oh, Asuka's been booked strongly. Asuka's booking has been up and down, up and down. Literally a roller coaster. It's like one minute they know what to do with her, next minute they don't. One minute they know what to do with her, next minute they don't. And it comes down to, once again, WWE creative, not being creative in building some storylines for her to really sink her teeth into. Or not pushing other women talent, like other wrestlers for her to compete with and it be viable. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. It's just, I don't know. It's an IDK situation when it comes to the women's division. Bunny, his mask. The 2022 Royal Rumble featured a number of surprise entrants, including rapper Bad Bunny. 
Bunny, who competed at WrestleMania 37 to rave reviews, put on a great showing at the mm -hmm. Men's Rumble. He did. So much so that Rey Mysterio wanted to give him a token of his appreciation for Bunny's That's work. That's pretty cool. And this was his actual mask he wore during the match. That's the awesome. The master of the 619 uploaded a video of himself handing the mask to Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny's respect for the industry and its workers is well known, and Ray giving the rapper his Royal that's, Rumble match is another sign that Bad Bunny has earned the respect of WWE superstar. I'm gonna be honest with you. Bad Bunny got one of the loudest pops in the Royal Rumble. He showed out. The dude is for someone that does not wrestle, he takes it, he took he takes it seriously. You can tell he trained up for this. He takes it seriously. Anytime she steps into the ring. You would think this guy has actually had some wrestling, like he, like he actually knows how to wrestle. And the thing is, he the moves he was pulling off was fantastic. They look good. It's really surprising to see someone that's an entertainer actually know what they're doing in the ring. And the the fact that he was one of the best moments in in WrestleMania from WrestleMania last year with Damian Priest let you know, that, bro. Hey man, I'm. I'm I I, I want to say I'm all for the t new talent getting their love and stuff like that, but I wouldn't mind seeing Bad Bunny every now and then make an appearance because the dude he f the fans the fans appreciate his work. I appreciate his work. I'm not saying he should be a champion like a a major WWE champion or anything like that. No 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 no. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying he's one of those people. It's cool to see him in a WWE ring every now and then. Stars. Next up, Alexa Bliss getting divorced? Uh oh. That's a question that fans have been asking after a document circulated online that looked like a divorce notice between Alexa Bliss and Ryan Cabrera. Of course, anyone familiar with the couple's public life knows that Bliss and Cabrera, who got engaged in late 2020, haven't even tied the knot yet. Bliss replied, Definitely not. There's no word on who posted the notice, but it's a reminder of how some people have too much time on their hands. Yeah, too Next much Next up, time. another WWE superstar headed to AEW. Add veteran wrestler Brian yeah, Kendrick to the ever-growing list of former WWE superstars headed to All Elite Wrestling. Kendrick, who's been working in NXT as a producer for the last two years, reportedly received his release, although rumor has it he was working without a contract for some time. The 42-year-old veteran is perhaps best known to WWE fans for his championship tag team with yep. Paul London. AEW tweeted the news along with who Kendrick will face on Dynamite. In his AEW debut, Mr. Brian Kendrick will face the toughest of tests tomorrow night on AEW Dynamite Live. He goes one-on-one -on -one with former AEW World Champion John Moxley. Mm -hmm. Kendrick showing against Moxley should be a good indicator of how AEW plans on using him. It appears that Kendrick's release did not go unnoticed by WWE superstar Mustafa Ali, who recently requested his release only for the WWE to turn him down, who uploaded a video hinting at his thoughts on the situation. The video is a clip of an interview with comedian Dave Chappelle, where Chappelle argues people use the word crazy to dismiss strong people who are working in a sick environment. And lastly, super- Just a release, Ali. We know why WWE is doing that. WWE is doing that because they're petty. Just release them. Let them go. You're not going to use them. And that's the thing. When you want to be released, when you're feeling frustrated, you're not being used, you know what WWE would do? They'll keep you there. They'll keep you on the shelf. They won't use you until right before your contract end, bury you to, to into oblivion, so that way your stock, like your, 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 you know, your notoriety in the internet community goes down because nobody sees you. Nobody hears from you. And then finally, when you do get on television, you get buried. That's that's WWE for you. Superstars now free agents. And last but not least, speaking of former WWE superstars headed to AEW, there is a small army of recently released superstars who are now free agents. Ringside News revealed the 10 wrestlers who are now free from the non-compete clause. Karrion Cross, Keith Lee, Mia Yim, Ember Moon, oh, Davey wow. Boy Smith Jr, aka Harry Smith, Only Lorcan, Grand Metalik, Lindsay Dorado, Eva Marie, and Nia Jack. The first few of those names, whoo, here's the thing, AEW is stacked, I want you to understand, they are stacked, so it, it just depends on how they book them, I'm gonna be honest with you, I want to see Karrion Cross. I want to see Keith Lee. I, I want to see uh, Ember Moon in a ring. I want to see Grand Metalik in a ring. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have a problem with that. 
Like, I, I want to see some of these people, I'm not going to lie to you, in a ring. And if it happens to be in AEW, that would be that would be cool, bro. That would be sick. I ain't going to lie to you. But once again, we'll see what happens in the future. Now, although some fans and pundits have questioned AEW signing so many former superstars, AEW president Tony Khan continues to sign wrestlers he feels could contribute to his promotion. Names like Karrion Cross, Keith oh, Lee yeah. seem like top prospects, while some of the others may be brought in on a per-match deal. We can't imagine his need to ever bring in Eva Marie, though. No. Nia Jax has indicated she's done with pro wrestling, but fans know that the lure of the ring can be difficult for some performers to resist. On the other hand, fans have seen some big names take their time returning to the ring after their WWE releases. As many fans expected Wyndham Rotunda aka Bray Wyatt to show up in AEW or Impact, but he's said to be working on a movie project. Do you think AEW should sign any of them? Let us know. Hey man, at least for me, Ember Moon, Karrion Cross, and Keith Lee. Ember Moon definitely for the women's division. Oh, see, ah, oh, to see Ember Moon actually go out oh bro that would be so great bro because i feel like outside of uh uh brit breaker there's like maybe a handful of women i'm not sure i'm not really well versed in it but she is leagues above everybody else as the star of the division so having somebody like ember moon come in i think that would be fantastic of course keith lee and carrying across do i have to say anything do i have to say anything bro so comment down below. Let me know what y'all what y'all thoughts and opinions on Shane McMahon getting the boot. Are you guys okay with it? Do you guys uh, feel like that was a wrong decision? Let me know. And also, who would you guys want to see AEW pick up that are now free agents? Would you guys want him want AEW to pick up uh, someone like Karrion Cross or Keith Lee or Ember Moon? I would love your thoughts and opinions down below. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.